Reading Pioneers is proud to present The Claw by Karen Witt, illustrated by Aaron Pocket. On the muddy banks of a salty sea lived a crab called Clive, who was strong and free. Clive was charming, friendly, and chipper, and on both sides of his body, he boasted a nipper. Clive and his friends loved to drift all day, with playgrounds aplenty along the way. Each night they burrowed into the bank, then into their muddy beds they sank. But one terrible night, in a terrible fight, Clive threw a nipper and swam off in fright. With only one nipper, he hid and he cried. I'm only half a crab now, he sighed. Mud crabs are born to be big and strong, but only with one nipper, I don't belong. Clive sulked in the weed day after day and watched the other crabs frolic and play. Then one day, a face poked through and said, I am Jenny. Would you like to play too? Clive looked down and shook his head. I've only one nipper. I'm different, he said. We're all different, my friend, Jenny replied. There's no need to worry and no need to hide. An old friend called Snippy visited Clive and asked him to come on a wonderful dive. But Clive was too glum, forlorn, and meek. He wallowed in the weed week after week. On the surface, a storm swirled into the bay. Thunder clapped and the sky turned gray. The boats on the water all headed for shore. Only one fisherman went out for more. Norman Beerbellio was gruff and a grump. His belly was one big blubbery lump. He had eyebrows that tangled together as one, and a nose as red as the hottest sun. He baited and tossed his lines overboard. It won't be long now, and I'll have a whole horde, he said to himself, feeling proud as punch, as he dreamt of crab sandwiches, fresh for his lunch. Beerbellio's appetite grew and grew. As the storm rolled in and wild winds blew, the crabs below tucked into a feast, unaware of the plan of the blubbery beast. Suddenly, the crabs each vanished from sight. But where did they go? And were they all right? Clive watched and he wondered with worry. Where did they go in such a hurry? Clive followed the bubbles, curious and keen, and spotted a boat and a pot full of steam. The boat was rusty, rugged, and grim. And on board, Beer Bellio was hauling crabs in. Beer Bellio stirred the pot that steamed. Clive heard the cries of crabs who screamed. And then he saw Jenny and heard her shriek. Somebody help us! We're all too weak! Clive signaled to Snippy, who was swimming past. Please help! he asked. Let's free those crabs fast. Clive told him of Jenny and the crab's poor fate, of Beer Bellio, the pot, and the fishy bait. Bravely, they boarded the rusty old boat and hid on the fringe of Beer Bellio's coat. Their eyes searched wide until they spied a big blue bucket with their friends inside. The waves washed wildly throughout the bay as Snippy dashed over to save the day. It's too heavy, 
said Snippy, sad and beat, just as Birbilio was ready to eat. Clive scuttled over, strong and game. Clive was no longer hiding in shame. His nipper was huge! The crabs were in awe. In fact, his nipper was an incredible claw! Clive lifted the bucket and tipped it with pride, freeing the crabs who were trapped inside. Just as lightning struck from above, Clive flipped the pot with one big shove. Birbelio danced and pranced in the air and saw that his big blue bucket was bare. Birbelio raged, almost tipping the boat. He stamped and he stomped and tripped over his coat. He sizzled and spluttered as the rain poured down and screwed up his face with a furious frown. Clive and the crabs all swam away as Birbelio wailed and called it a day. Below the surface, a legend was born. Clive was no longer meek and forlorn. He was a hero, courageous and strong. And he'd learned that his strength was there all along. He no longer felt shame, and he hid no more, for Clive was the crab with the incredible claw. His friends declared him the king of the sea, but Clive said, I'm just happy I'm me. And as for the blubbery beast on the boat, Birbelio cursed his worst day afloat. One would think he would never come back. But he was already plotting to return. With a trap! Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book The Claw by Karen Witt. I'm interested in what you thought about the story. So leave a comment below and click that like button to show Karen your opinion of her awesome book. I really enjoyed the rhyming and the lessons that the story taught. You can find out more about Clive by visiting Karen's website, theclawbooks.com, as well as her Instagram and Facebook pages, which are all linked below in the description box. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, and we can turn it into the next read aloud. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, and share this with your friends and family. It really means a lot to this channel. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the playlist over here of other inspiring and great reads for young pioneers. And below that is The Incredible Claw, the second book featuring Clive. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.